we're gonna go walk over the little drainage over here gotta watch out for snakes we had a little bit of rain and it brought in a little bit of a cold front for a couple of days so instead of 120 degrees now we're probably gonna be sitting around 90 and I tell you what though it feels like uh, it kind of feels like fall today because this heat has been so crazy that any amount of cool down makes you feel like you're in a whole different season. You got it? Good job. Good work. <laughs> you want to go to the Rams first? So we're heading over to the Rams today. We're just going to uh, replenish their minerals. And uh, see how everybody is doing over here. It's definitely a lot cooler. Uh, the Rams still have some shade over here. Okay, we got our mixed minerals. This bull is enough for a few days for the Rams and for the ewes. So we're going to give the Rams a little bit right now. And then we're going to head over and go see the ewes. We got there. We're going to be back to... Uh, 90 plus degrees i think starting either tomorrow or the following day so i'm taking advantage today to do some more chores outside and and uh taking the chance to graze the sheep away from shade so they can utilize a little bit of the center of the pasture where you haven't really been able to run them because it's just been too hot so that's been nice I gotta show you guys this area is looking really good this is typically uh, a really poor area for forage and just for uh, weeds and you can see I mean this stuff right here is pretty much solid broom sedge and then there's kind of a line where that kind of stops there and we have a whole bunch of different stuff going on. So we got the purple top. We have this stuff here is panic grass. We have this stuff here. Now this stuff right here, this really fine stuff, this is uh, Bermuda grass. And they'll eat a little bit of that, but they didn't seem super interested in it. They will eat some, but they'll definitely prefer other things. Um, so this is their last paddock or their last two paddocks right here you can see that line that's where their fence was so i wanted to show you guys this is uh evidence of dung beetles which are awesome that's really what you want to be seeing out here this guy right here this is chico this is our katahdin ram i think he's a dorper katahdin mix he's super cool I tell you what, you guys don't get much friendlier for rams than these guys. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I mean, this guy's huge. He's a big old boy. He's bigger than me, I bet. I don't know how much he weighs, but look at these guys. But so here's the residual after being in this paddock for a day. You still got quite a bit. I'm gonna move them here pretty quick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at these guys. <laughs> but as friendly as you get. Yep, that white one, that's Ricky. We bought him. I got these guys moved over. I'm moving them uh, closer to the shade tree, our last shade tree, which is not this guy right here, but it's the one down the hill down there. So that's a spot they actually haven't been on yet, this, this rotation. Uh, that's that spot that I mowed and it turned out that it really helped it over there. So they're gonna have a nice shady spot for all this hot weather coming up. So I'm probably gonna move them a couple times a day. That way we can get over there a little quicker and they'll be able to chow on all this good forage all the way over there take some of it down 
some of this Johnson grass, beat some of that stuff up. 